Well, hey there, everybody. I'm Jack, uh, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me again today. It's warmed up a little bit. We are uh, muggy 60 degrees. I'm keeping the house cool, though, so I'm pretty much living in sweatpants, flannels, long sleeve t-shirts. But the sleeping has been good, man. I bet you the last two nights I've slept nine hours, ten hours a night, man, piled up under cover. So bring it on, bring it on. I'll probably be tired of it in a month or so. Uh, today I got top 10 tips for raw vegan lifestyle by Brenda Davis. I'm always talking about her. Um, guys, if you haven't already done it, please, please, please go down there and hit that subscribe button now. And then when you do that, click the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. I've talked about her a number of times and... Um, now that I've, I've got a, I, I got a refurbished iPad about four or five weeks ago, so now I'm reading more out of my Kindle again. And since I recommend her so much, I was looking through her book, just thinking if I could see something beneficial to share. And I came across something I had highlighted um, when I was going through there before. If you will bear with me. I somehow cannot ever seem to get back. There we go to the exact right page. Okay, top 10 tips for optimum health on a raw vegan diet. You can go through each one and you can tell me what, how you can break it apart if you want to. I don't do all of these, but she's got a pretty whole thorough outlook at this lifestyle. So here, anyhow. Okay, number one, variety. See, I don't do that one as well as I should. <laughs> Include an assortment of raw plant foods, fruits, greens, peas, and other vegetables, seeds, and nuts. Consider also incorporating sprouted grains and sprouting lentils and mung beans for additional calories and nutrients. If the diet is not 100% raw, cooked legumes, grains, and starchy vegetables can also make valuable contributions to overall nutrient intake. Number two. Make the calcium-rich, low-oxalate greens, such as broccoli, bok choy, dandelion greens, kale, mustard greens, napa cabbage, turnip greens, and watercress the backbone of every day's menu. It is wise to include greens at least twice a day in your meals or snacks, using a total of about one and a third pounds of greens on most days. I was doing that in Costa Rica, and you know what? I'm going to talk. To, I, I keep saying I'm going to do it. I'm going to see if I can get myself a a source of greens um, by a friend I know that grows a little bit. Uh, number three, other vegetables. Enjoy an assortment of vegetables in the full spectrum of colors. Vegetables are more nutrient dense than any other food. Number four, now she's not as much, so your, your mileage is going to vary. My mileage varies on this one. Fruits. Fruits are a sweet, delicious, and vitamin-rich part of raw vegan diets. Their high sugar content can affect your dental health, so be sure to brush your teeth regularly and balance menus with the other food groups that are higher in protein and minerals and lower in sugar. People always ask me that. I'm just going to say it for one quick second. What about the dental? What about your teeth with all of that sugar? My teeth suck. They were bad coming into this lifestyle, but let me throw some logic out there at you. If, if any, it's either all or nothing, I think. Like your sugar, it's about, listen, you eat and you get it off your teeth. Now, to preserve my teeth as long as I can keep them, as soon as I'm finished eating, I'm cleaning my mouth. When I, why I say cleaning my mouth, if I'm not somewhere where I can brush at the time, which I usually am, I'll, um, you know, swish some uh, coconut oil around in my mouth. But I don't leave the sugar on my teeth anymore. And that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. If you're starting this lifestyle with a good set of teeth, just get the sugar off your teeth. Every as soon as you eat. Simple. Seeds and nuts. For protein and minerals, it's a good idea to include at least one half to two thirds cups of seeds and nuts each day in your menus. Include in this mix at least two teaspoons of ground flax seeds, two tablespoons of walnuts, as these will top up your day's supply of essential omega-3 fatty acids. I don't use the flax seeds because um, I don't get them around here. I don't have a grinder. I use the chia seeds. The ratio is not quite as good with the flax, but it's good. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind eating a, you know, two or three walnuts a day, maybe a Brazil nut. Um, a little more may be necessary to get a good balance of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. Um, 
When it comes to minerals and proteins, seeds tend to be even more nutritious than nuts. I, I, I like to use the seeds a bit more, you know, that, um, no, I didn't do a recipe, but I made uh, a, like a sauce out of um, pumpkin seeds here about, about a week ago. And those are really good in zinc and other things as well. So like I say, I'm not going to necessarily change up and start eating. I probably am not going to eat the amount of nuts she says. I just don't feel it. But the fat in nuts and seeds helps with the absorption of minerals and provides protective phytochemicals. Um, she didn't mention, though, you might want to soak your nuts too. Number six, sprouted or cooked legumes. Sprouted lentils and mung beans will help keep your blood sugar level between meals. If you include some cooked in your menus, cooked legumes, such as a bowl of beans from a salad bar or lentils, peas, or beans in a warm soup, would be a wise choice because they provide protein, iron, and zinc and contain very little fat. Number seven, sprouted grains. Some people include sprouted grains, such as kamut and rye, or foods that are used as grains, such as buckwheat and quinoa, in the form of raw or dehydrated cereals and crackers. Another option, though, though it is not wrong, is bloomed wild rice. These carb and protein-rich foods can help maintain your energy level. And then she gets into this, and I agree with her on this. I don't do it exactly how she says do it. Vitamin B, vitamin B12. Now, we're talking about somebody that's a long-term raw food. It's long-term uh, high-carb vegan here. Be certain to include a daily or weekly B12 supplement. Um, she talks about using a vegetarian support formula, nutritional yeast, but I like a supplement. Uh, other foods fortified with vitamin B12. I don't eat anything that's fortified with it, so I take a supplement. Vitamin D. Make sure you have a source of vitamin D in the form of sunlight or a supplement. Um, and then number 10 is iodine. Use a little kelp, iodized table salt, or a supplement that includes iodine for an intake of this mineral that meets recommended levels. When you eat significant amounts of cruciferous vegetables, such as broccoli, cabbage, and kale, or ground flax seeds, it is especially important to maintain an adequate intake of iodine. Good list, good solid recommendations. I like to uh, quote Brenda Davis a lot, and I've got both of her books, and somebody asked me a question yesterday, and I referred her again. I need to get in touch with her and see if I can sell her book as an affiliate. <laughs> No, she doesn't. She's. I, I don't know. You don't see that much about her out there. There's a couple. There's a good talk on YouTube if you just um, go, search Brenda Davis uh, on YouTube. You'll get about an hour long talk. That's basically a summary of her first book, which is Becoming Vegan, which is a B vegan Bible. It's a very good, thoughtful way of approaching the lifestyle. No woo woo to it, as um, I like to say. And then she also has the second book, Becoming Raw. That's what I just read from right there. But I get both of them. They're great reference guides. I just use them instead of reading all the way through them, which I did actually read them when I got them. I kind of use them just as reference uh, now. The table of contents real good. So if I get a, stumped on a question or something I need to know, it's easy to go in there and just use that as a reference. So anyhow, just sharing a few things there with you. Um, I thought that was pretty good stuff and um, you know beginners you want to see beginners get a good solid start um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that one if you like it please give me a thumbs up and have a beautiful weekend get out and do something and I'll see you tomorrow peace